What you guys got another video here for you. Quite a few people asked me to take a look at VideoPad video editing software. And this is from NCH software. So we'll take a look at that in this video. So let's get this installed on the system and we'll take a look at how easy it is to edit videos. Now, if you're looking for something quick and easy to use to edit videos, then this might be a piece of software that might suit your needs. There is loads of other software out there available. So if you've got ideas, you want to see videos on then let me know in the comment section below of what software you want to see me try to uh, edit videos on so you can get a good idea of what that software is like and how easy it is to use now it's not free software but it's not one of the most expensive video editing software out there on the market there's quite expensive ones out there and this is pretty affordable so let's take a look at it anyway so we've got the software open here you can see we've got our videos uh audio files and also image files these are all listed here. You can just uh, add them into this little area here. Right click on here, gives you a context menu with plenty of options available to add certain items in. As you can see, I'll add some in a second. You've got this little area here, which adds folders and you can create groups and folder names to make it a bit easier to work with uh, loads of different types of files. Uh, coming down here to the source area here, where we're gonna add in our timeline this is for our video and our audio. Very simple and easy to do. Pretty similar to a lot of other layouts. You've got your little bars here for zooming in and out and also your slider bars uh, down the bottom here and your sequence here down there. So let's take a look at uh, the video here. We've got some files that I've just added in just to see uh, what it's like. I'm going to drag this down onto uh, the timeline here so we can then uh, work with this footage so you can see we've got audio and video, which is separate here. You can separate it. So it does give you full control here. You've got your little slider here, which you can slide along. And you can also split, crop, and do all that stuff, which you can do with other types of video editing. It seems very uh, responsive and very easy to use. It doesn't seem overcomplicated. So looking down here, we've got some buttons here for audio, which means we can mute the audio, turn the volume down, or stuff like that. So let me just mute the audio here. You can also turn the audio levels down. So if you use adding music in or something like that as background music, you could turn that down really simple and easy right there. We've got also another audio little tab here, which we can click on and completely mute uh, all of that audio as well. So that's a nice added feature here. Now, also what I wanted to do here is you can separate the audio and just delete the audio altogether and just leave a blank bit of footage of video if you wanted to. You can add in also a fade in right here, very simply and easy to do by just adding a fade in. And you can see here it just fades into uh, the video. Very simple. So that is the options available there. So let me just click on the audio here and this will open up the audio on here. Now down the bottom here, we've got this little slider, which is your start time. This will be the set time for when you want the video to start. So if you've got a blank space at the beginning, or maybe you've got some noise or coughing or something like that at the beginning of the video, you can just uh, crop that out by using the set time or start time at that little slider there. You could also split it and remove it all together if that's what you want to do, but this will do it also. You've got your unlink and fade here and a bunch of other settings inside here, just like you would do with any other type of editing uh, software. So let's take a look at how we can add in some text here. So if we wanted to add some text at the beginning of our video, we can do that. You can add a vim image or maybe an intro or whatever it is you want to add in. You can do that as well. So we've got some video effects here. We've got some audio effects and some text effects here and some transitions and trim. We've got some other commands up there as well, but you can see this is where you're gonna add in your text effect. So whether it'll be uh, the scrolling text at the bottom, you can add that in as well. You've got typewriter, you've got a bunch of other stuff inside here, some good options available to add into your video project, uh, but we'll just go for a simple text overlay here and just add that in. And what you need to do here is put in the text that you want here. So just let me put some text in here. And this can be as complicated or as easy as you like. I'm just going to put in here, hello, this is a tutorial, something like that. And now you've got the options to uh, change the font in here. You can change the actual font itself. You can add bold, you can add italic, underline, the size of the text. You can also uh, do the background and all that sort of stuff inside here. Uh, 
to make it uh, exactly how you want. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I just wanted to show you some of the basics here and have a little overview of this software. But basically, this is how you would go about adding in uh, shadows and stuff like that as well. So you can spend more time doing your video editing. I don't really want to uh, go that deep into an overview, but basically that's where you can add all your text in, uh, just like so. You can change the size of it and move it around the screen as well by just grabbing it and moving it around. So very simple and easy method of adding those in. Okay, so let's take a look at some other stuff that we can do uh, with this particular editing software. So let's take a look at the split feature here. So looking at the slider here, you can drag this to where you want uh, to split your video. So if you've got a bit that you want to crop out, you can crop this out or split it and remove that. So when you click on here, you can see you've got these little blue start uh, set times and also end set time here. You've also got these little scissors and they're over here as well. So you can just click on these and it will literally uh, cut that video right there. So let me just go ahead and put it into a location and click on this here. You can see it's now split that video right the way down here and you can add a transition in here or you can delete it, remove it, add a piece of um, image in there or a video, whatever it is uh, on your video project, you can do that here. So if I wanted to remove this completely because uh, there was some sort of mistake or something like that or I just didn't like the video at all, you can actually remove this by hitting the delete button here or right click and you can see here, you can unlink the audio. Um, you can also uh, basically delete the uh, file here completely, and it's now gone. And I can drag this over and put this in here and then add a, a little tiny uh, transition in there. So let me just undo that. You can also undo any mistakes that you may have made. And let's take a look at the transition here. So there's a little box here you'll see, which allows you to add transitions in, which makes it very simple by just clicking on here and there's some set transitions which you can add in. I just like the crossfade here, just makes it nice and easy. We can drop that in and add the crossfade into uh, the video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead now and add some images in so we can add a watermarking of our logo or something like that. Or maybe you want to add a little bit of video inside a video, you can do that as well. Your camera for your webcam or whatever it is you wanna do, you can do that in this software, very simple and easy to do. You can add simple text, animated titles, overlay image, and other things like that as well. That's what we're going to do here. So let me just go ahead and add one of those in here. So select my logo here. It's going to go and add that in. Let's so try and find the right one. That will do. And you can see where I've had the actual red line here, it's added the image in right there. So it's always important to get your image in the position uh, where the red line is and that way you can add it in or you could just drag and drop it straight in the way I showed you here. Now once you've got this into position here, you can drag it out and stretch it right the way across your video. If you find it difficult to grab hold of, you might need to zoom out a little bit and you can do that at the bottom right here and then you can drag the image out and across your footage just like so. And you can crop off what you don't want here as well. Um, you can see the line here is not grabbing so if you want to put the red line in the position where you want to crop, you can do that also. So let me just quickly show you this then. So I'll quickly crop this off right here. Just put the red line here, can use the scissors, and then delete that little bit of footage there. Then also what you can do here is go all the way to the front of the video and drag that right across. Now we need to change the size of that image because you can see it's absolutely massive and it goes right across our video. And we don't want that, so we're going to need to change the size of this and we can do that um, a, a number of different ways here now you can move it about by dragging all, dragging hold of it and moving it around but we do need to change the size of it now some video editors let you grab the ends here and just basically pull these in but this one doesn't let you do that you have to do this in a different way it does let you move it about like so but let me just show you so we're going to go here video effects and it should allow us to now change the scale of this image and we can scale it down to a reasonable size and then drag this into the position uh, which suits our needs. So depending on what you are trying to do here, you can take more time doing your editing, but I'm just showing you an overview of what this actual software does. And it's quite useful and very easy to do. Now I've not used this software before. You can see I'm just doing this cold. So I've never used this software. Uh, I'm just showing you guys basically how easy it is. So once you've learned one piece of software, 
you can sort of muddle your way around with other software as well, which is useful. So you can find which one uh, you like. Now, some are more complex than others, but this one's pretty straightforward and easy to do, and it doesn't take a lot of system resources uh, to run the software. So let me go ahead now, and we're going to add in some audio, maybe add some audio into here. So I've got some audio, as you can see here, and I'm going to drag this onto uh, the video here. Let me find a place where to drag it. I'm going to go right at the beginning, maybe here, and drop that audio in. And I can see we've got an image here, and I need to drag the image all the way across here. So let me go ahead and finish that part off, and we can move on. So I'm just going to quickly grab the image here and drag this off. Now, the best thing to do here is uh, zoom out, because obviously you're going to be doing this, what I'm doing here. You don't want to be doing that. All you want to do is uh, take the zoom out of the video, and then you'll be able to drag that right across very easy because it will make it smaller like so. So that's what you want to do. Let me just delete this image here that I dropped on by mistake and drag that across. So you can see how much quicker and easier that is. And I can now grab the end part as well and button that up very nice and easy. So I'm going to need to change the volume level of the audio because the music will be too loud. And you can do that in here. Very simple and easy to do. What you need to do here is click on the audio uh, section here. There's two little buttons down the bottom. There's FX and there's also the uh, speaker icon here. And uh, we can now adjust the volume level for this audio because I don't want it that loud. So if this FX one will allow you to add in effects uh, for your audio, if that's what you want to do, you can add some new effects in by doing that here. And there's also another button down here, which is a speaker one. You click on this and this is the volume uh, level here. So you can clip the volume down to a level that shoots you or mute it as I showed you a little bit earlier on and that will just reduce the audio level enough to uh, have it as a background audio and then you can put your voice over the top um, using the voice uh, narration tool so I'll show you that in a second okay so let's talk about uh, voiceovers and stuff like that you've got up the top here you've got some buttons which you can use which allows you to record you can see here record video capture screenshots record the screen, record audio, and over video. So you can basically use this as a capture, just like I do with Camtasia. But Camtasia is quite a bit of money, whereas this is a much more affordable. So if you're looking to get into this sort of stuff, you can use particular software like this, which makes it much more affordable and easier to use. So let's take a look at the record narration here. And basically what the, this is going to allow me to do is do a voiceover. So I can click on record here, play the video and do a voiceover uh, over the uh, recording that I've got here. If I wanted to do a voiceover or record something straight off like a tutorial using the record feature, which I showed you just a second ago, which allow you to make uh, tutorials um, and record the audio as well and system audio. So that is the uh, record section there. That is how you can uh, do voiceovers and stuff like that. Very simple and easy to do with this piece of software. So let's take a look at some of the buttons and features that this has to offer as well, uh, so you can get an idea of what else it has to offer. It does have some more advanced features on this, but that will be for another video. This is just more of an overview of the software itself and give you my personal opinion on it. And uh, so far, I'm quite enjoying it. I think it's quite easy to use. So clicking on the export video here, you can export a video to any of these options available here. As you can see, YouTube, Flickr, you've got Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, OneDrive, Vimeo, and you've got Blu-ray, Movie Disc, and a bunch of other settings on here. If you want to do export video, you can then give this an export name uh, of whatever you like here. You can save it to a certain path, and then uh, you can set the presets here. It's set to custom at the moment, but you can mess around and set this to whatever you want uh, on your video. Maybe you want a smaller video, and you can set the file format type here, which makes it nice and easy to set to whatever you like. And again, you've got some other resolution areas here. You can do letterbox, uh, uh, crop and zoom, and also stretch. And we also have frame rate and stuff like that. You don't really need to worry too much about that. I mean, it will have a YouTube section on here, which you can use and just have upload that to YouTube. And you should be good to go. So 1080p is pretty good enough for what I do, um, unless you're going down the route of 4, 4K and stuff like that. It can do 4K, 
uh, but again uh, they are going to be larger files and not many people can stream 4k uh, so i try to keep it to 1080p thinking of what other people uh, can actually stream at so that is the saving and exporting videos let me just go back in here and show you here so and take a look at the youtube section so you can see here format youtube 720 you can change this to another format like 1080p and again you've got 360 video and you've got frame rate here put in your video title your video description your keywords inside here and privacy mode whether you want it on there click create and this will connect to your youtube account and upload it and basically uh, be quick and easy to create a youtube video and upload it to youtube straight from this software very simple so that is how you can uh, export your video format so once you've got your required uh, settings you can just click on create and it will then uh, render that video for you if you wanted to put it onto your machine and then upload it yourself you can do that as well you don't have to use the presets in there for youtube you can do it whichever way suits you so let me just quickly uh, create this video here so you can see it when it starts to render out so click on create and there we go and that's starting to render uh, that video now this has not been a sponsored video and i wanted to point that out because some people seem to think that every video i do is a sponsored video if it was sponsored i would tell you and they've not asked me to do this video i just wanted to make this video because people always ask me what type of software i use and the software i'm using is quite expensive so this is an option which you can use for uh, basic video editing for 30 pounds which i think is pretty affordable and if you're looking to make youtube content then there is ways of doing it for free as well so there's plenty of other options out there and if you've got those options or you want me to create videos for you to show you how easy they are to use then let me know in the comment section below on what types of uh, software you want me to make videos on and i'll be do my best to make those videos for you but again this is pretty easy it's the first time i've used this software it makes it very easy to uh muddle your way around and get things done so not that difficult to use Anyway, that will be about it. Just a quick overview video of the NCH uh, video editing software. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.